we need to be able to talk and the leadership team will be discussing some things and the volunteers will be discussing something else. So Joey has recommended, and I totally agree, and we would like to use a walkie-talkie system on our devices. And that means that someone in the parking lot can holler out to John or I. Uh, that means someone inside can say, hey, we're short in sales, Scott. Do you have a volunteer you can move? The communication, again, is going to be so key. We're going to talk to you about Zello. And uh, as Joey and I walk you through this, uh, just I'll, if you don't mind, I'll talk them through this and then you can tell the process. Yeah, Zello is a push to talk app for the conference. Uh, it, you're going to, in a moment, we're going to talk to you about how to download this app. Uh, you can do it through your iOS or Android store and you're going to create a user profile. But this is the part, and we're going to leave this up here. We'll, when Joey goes to their screen, we'll come back to this. But this is our volunteer right here channel. And this is the one I will be monitoring throughout the day. Everybody's got a, if you've got a smartphone, you go to the website for either iOS or Android and download the Zello app. You log in, you create your own profile for yourself, right? And then once you're logged in, you'll go to the group session and look for that ntxcmc.vol radio net. So this is a walkie-talkie, push to talk. It works on the regular networks on the cell towers all across the United States and Canada and Mexico. Scott is the administrator of that group, right? And he does not have a password on it, right? No. There's no password on it. So what happens is, there's Zello. See the big Z with the orange? That will show up, and I'm doing a demo here on an Android device. The iOS is a little bit different, but let me just show you how it works. Click on the, on the device, and guess what? I'm right now, can talk point to point to Ralph. Right here, on the, end, on the Android device, this is a, the, the way you talk to an individual person. So right now I can see that Jeremy's online, John's online. John is actually out of state, so if he was actually listening, I can talk to him right there. Kyle is busy right now. Mark, Mike, all these guys that are in green, they're actually online. So when I hit that center button, it's a point-to-point, -point, person person-to-person call, right? So if you want to talk to one of your buddies, you know where they're at out on the ground here, right? You look for their name, you have to get their name and add them to your profile you'll be able to talk to them directly if you don't want everybody to hear that conversation. Now over here is where the group is. So if I click on the group, here are groups that I have, right? Here's the one for our leadership team right here, right? So if I go into that group, just for an example, get the orange circle. Orange circle means you're standby, you're ready to go. This little blue dot right here is an on-off button, right? When you go into the group, you have to turn that on in order to bring yourself mm -hmm. into the group. Once you're in the group, it's just like you turn your walkie-talkie on, now you can hear everybody, right? You guys follow? If you don't turn that on, you're not going to be able to hear. All right, once you get this status right here, you can see who's inside this group by clicking on the little multi-person icon right there. So let me show you. All right, here are the people that are actually on this group right now. These are guys from our leadership team. All right, now if I need to switch back over and actually talk, I hit the little microphone. And I got my orange circle up again, right? So regular radio procedures, you're, you're listening until you need to be res respond. So I want to do a net call. I'll say, hey guys, this is Joey. I'll do a net call. Ralph, are you there? Over. Over means I'm done with my conversation, right? And if I'm doing a little bit longer conversation, instead of holding it down for two minutes, I'll just say break, take my finger off the little orange dot for a second, and then push it back down again, and then, then continue talking. It is a push to talk, so you have to push it down and hold it while you're talking. Key thing is you push it, wait a second, then start talking. When you're done, wait about another second and then release your finger. If you don't do that, the first and last part of your conversation will be cut off. There is no password for that group. There is one for the leadership group. So if you're on the leadership team, you have to get with me offline. So anyway, you push that orange button right there. It'll turn to green. You start talking. You say whatever you got to say, over. The other person responds back, da 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 da, over. And then you continue your conversations. And while you're on this network, you know, that little blue sign will be on so you'll be able to see it. So, all right, here are all the other groups that I have, right? For example, here's a Ring of Fire, just a group I can talk to. St. Gabriel's Men's Club, that Man is You group I created for test. There's also another one, the Truckers group. So there's truckers that are riding down the highway that I can listen to their conversations if I wanted to, right? So here's the group that you guys would be on, ntxcmc.vol. So once you're in that group, Scott will have to you know, give you a trust relationship once he sees your name in there. And then you can actually talk to everybody in the group and you should be able to hear them. Really easy to use once you kind of figure these screens out a little bit. So again, point to point, group. Now, 
that little group on the plus sign, let me show you that. Okay, this is how you would add the channel, right? You would find a channel right here, click find channel, then you would type in that ntxcmc.vol net name or group name. And once you get that group name, then you'll add that to your groups. And then once it's there, it will show up on your group view all the time until you delete it off your phone. All right, another really neat thing about this is this little uh, clock with a backwards arrow on it. This shows all the conversations that we've had in these different groups. For example, if I go to this ntxcmc.org. By the group, way, on I, Apple, that is an I. It's an I? Okay, it's an I. Picture of an I. So let me, get, let me click this little symbol up here in the top right again. All right, here are conversations that happen right from, from this channel. If I scroll through here, if I tap on one of those, you can actually re-listen to the conversations in that group or between you and another person, right? Matter of fact, one of our leadership team guys who just got on the net last night, we've been having this, this uh, push to talk call every night at 8.30, so we just do coordination and last minute stuff for the, for the conference. Uh, he couldn't really get on, but he figured out that, hey, I can listen to the entire conversation. So he pressed the first little button and it automatically played for all the different back and forth conversations. So then he had a good understanding of what happened during the meeting, right? And anybody who misses one of our meetings, you guys can do that on that group.